it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, internet. What is up? Okay, she's being weird today. She is being odd. Um, so yeah, hi, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another book video, and in this video, I'm gonna be telling you all about the books that I want to read on vacation. Now, I am a mood reader. I am a mood reader. And so making a TBR is like extremely difficult because I don't know what I want to read in like three weeks. Normally, I would also just never make a TBR. Like I don't do like a monthly TBR. Like there's books that I know I want to get to eventually, but I don't plan out like I'm gonna read this and this and this this month. It just doesn't work for me. I'd never really know what I wanna read. And so making a TBR is like difficult. Like I actually also really struggled making this one, but I'm going on vacation. Two of the vacations I'm going on, I can only bring my Kindle because I only have hand luggage. I can't bring like several books because my bag would get too heavy and then it can't bring it. So I have to pre-plan what books I want to read and then download them onto my Kindle. Oh, the lighting! It's gonna keep changing. The sun is going in and out of the sky. I'm so sorry. It's just, it is what it is on this lovely day. I have to, I'm bringing my Kindle and I want to pre-download all the books that I'm gonna read. I am gonna give myself options. I'm putting more books in this TBR than I actually think I can achieve, but I have to put them on because putting a Kindle on Wi-Fi is like really difficult and it needs to have Wi-Fi to download the books. I've compiled a list that you can't see because overexposed, but that's good. It keeps the surprise. It keeps the secrecy. And let's go over it. I've made a wide variety of things. I've picked things that are appropriate for each trip I'm going on. So let's just get straight into it. Let's get started with this TBR. So first of all, I am going on a girl's trip with my friends. Since it is a girl's vacation, I'm gonna be with my friends like 24 seven. I highly doubt that I'm gonna have an extreme amount of time to read. I'm going for a week with my friends. So I'm gonna bring two books of two different genres to have options. Way The first book that I'm bringing, I have to do this. I have to read this book. I must read this book. I want to read this book so freaking bad. And I've said that in several videos. And that is Love Theoretically by Allie Hazelwood. I still cannot get my hands on a physical copy. I cannot find anyone who's selling it. I'm gonna download it on the Kindle. I'm just biting the bullet. I am still gonna try and get the physical copy eventually. Sure, so I love theoretically, obviously romance. I mean, we all know what Ali Hazelwood is about. And again, in STEM, which I love. I love a good women in STEM book. It really adds to the vibes for me. And the main character, Elsie, she's a physicist, but on the side, she offers her services as a fake girlfriend to like make money because as we all know, academia is not the place to go if you wanna be rich. So she offers her services as a fake girlfriend and apparently it's the older brother of one of her clients that she has this romance with. So I'm not sure how that's gonna go because I was thinking if she's a girlfriend person, then she's fake dating, but that's what she did in the first book. So like, I was like, She's not gonna do fake dating again, is she? He's also a physicist, so love that. And yeah, it has really high rating on Goodreads. It has a 4.26, which is actually pretty great. So I'm quite excited to read that one. That's my little romance pick for the week. And then my other book that I'm gonna bring on this trip or like that I'm gonna download on my is The Perfect Couple by Ellen Hildebrand. I have heard everyone reading Ellen Hildebrand and I wanna be one of those girly pops who lays on the beach and reads a little cozy mystery. But I am afraid of mysteries, especially when I'm on vacation in a foreign country. I don't want to get freaked out that I'm gonna get murdered. So I did some research. This one seems like I think it's like the main woman is getting married to like her husband to like her fiance, but then on the day of the wedding, one of the bridesmaids, it might have been the maid of honor, shows her dead body shows up in the water or in like the sea or like floats up or something like that. And I have to figure out like what happened and then like all the trials and tribulations I come across with that. So I don't have a maid of honor, so it doesn't feel like it could happen to me, which is good because if it feels like it could happen to me, I could not read this book. And everyone says that she writes fantastic. I think it's like a good safe option for a mystery that, and I'm still so new to mystery that honestly I probably will like it just cause I have nothing to like compare it to. Can't wait to read that on the beach. I hope my Kindle doesn't overheat because it is gonna be really hot where I'm going. Those are the two books that I'm gonna be bringing to my girls trip. Now let's move on to the books that I'm bringing to my family vacation because it's a different vibe. It's a different vibe. It's a different vacation. I gotta bring different books, different vibes. <laughs> 
booked for like different books and not necessarily all different genres but like different enough so first of all i have like a literary fiction pick because i haven't been reading literary fiction recently and i really want to get like back into it because so the first one that i want to read is you all grow up and leave me a novel about i think it's a coming of age story about a teenage girl who has like obsessive he's obsessed with like people i think i've been hunting recently for a book that'll spark the same type of joy that my other like favorite books do tried everything in the fantasy and the romance genre so i'm like maybe i should branch out go into some new genres and try to find a favorite book there because i'm literally deprived of five star books i'm deprived i need to find that joy in a book i need it i need it i can't find it and i desperately need it so i'll try this literary fiction book i don't think this is a very popular book but i saw one of my favorite youtubers review it and she really liked it so i'm guessing i would like it too because i like a lot of her recommendations let me just read you this it says it's a, a highly unsettling blend of true crime and coming-of-age memoir that presents an intimate and thought-provoking portrait of girlhood within Manhattan's exclusive prep school scene in the early 1990s and a thoughtful meditation on adolescent obsession and the vulnerability of youth. If that doesn't sound fantastic, I don't know what does. If I'm going to read literary fiction, it's going to be screwed up, messed up teenage people doing messed up stuff because that's what I find entertaining. It'll be good for me to go out of my comfort zone a little bit because I used to read a lot of lip fake and now I just don't and I don't know why and I want to get back into it and I feel like this is one that I'll really enjoy. Moving on, wait, I'm gonna grab two books that I want to read this vacation that I actually have physical copies of because since I'm going with my parents on a road trip, I can actually like bring whatever I want because we're going in the car so I can just put them in the car. So first one that I have a physical copy of that I want to read is kind of a random pick. Like it doesn't really make sense but I just really I was gonna put this off until fall, but I have so many books that I'm putting off until fall that I'm like, I'm never gonna be able to finish all these books in fall. And I really, 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 really wanna read this before. I read the first book in this series. That's already a hint. It's fantasy, by the way. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. And I've heard that the second one is even better than the first one. And that is Crooked Kingdom by Libor Duo. I know I'm late to the party already. Like people were reading this book two, three years ago, but I'm here now and I'm ready to go. Yeah. I really, really, really liked um, Six of Crows. So wait, is this Six of Crows? Six of crows, that's it, right? That doesn't sound like real words. Six of crows, six crows, no, six of crows. I don't know why that doesn't sound like real to my brain, but that's what it's called. But anyway, Crooked Kingdom, I really wanna read this one. I don't know what it's about. And this one, I'm not gonna give you a synopsis because I don't wanna spoil it because I like going into fantasies like 100% blind. Fantasy synopses, they don't spoil the ending of the book, but they tell you something that only happens like halfway through that like I didn't need to know yet. This is the only fantasy as well that I have planned out. Summer. Is it's just not for fantasy, you know? I'm gonna bring this to my only fantasy, even though it's not really summer vibes and it doesn't really fit the theme. Don't wanna wait anymore and I wanna read it so bad. So I'm bringing that. The next thing that I wanna read, I've been putting off reading this book. I'm well, not putting it off, like I really want to read it. I just, I haven't been because I've been waiting for the perfect opportunity and it has arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, the perfect opportunity that I thought would never come has arrived. It has actually, it's perfect because this summer I'm gonna be in northern Italy for at least three or four days. What book must I read while I am in northern Italy? It is none other than Call Me By Your Name. I have owned this book for the past three years and I've never read it because I was like, oh, I have to be in the right situation. I have to go to the right place. Like I need to be in like the nature and like I need to feel the vibes. Um, it doesn't get more perfect than Northern Italy for this book. Cause isn't that not exactly where this is set? I think it is, I'm pretty sure. And I'm gonna fully annotate this bitch. So yes, I must read that. If I do not read Call Me By Your Name while I'm in Northern Italy, everyone can personally execute me because that is absolutely a crime. That was a joke. Please don't actually do that if I don't read this book. Thank you. <laughs> like I have to, like I must, I have to. So Call Me By Your Name, for those of you who do not know, is about, I think he's like 17, Elio and Oliver. Oliver is an American exchange student because Elio's dad is a professor and he comes to Northern Italy to live with the family to study whatever they're studying. It's like North Italian history or something, like something that he needs to be in Italy for. I'm not actually 100% sure on that. And then they have a little cheeky romance, which is a little odd because he's a, a lot older than him. In the movie, it was really beautiful. So I'll see how it is in the book. If I get like weird vibes, but I don't think I will. I'll let you know my judgment once I've read it. So yeah, that's what that book is about. 
And then last of all, while I'm on my family vacation, I'm just gonna download like an array of romance novels on my Kindle that I can just like use as palette cleansers. Cause I like to read like a, a quick, like a quick romance, just like in a day and a half in between like the more substantial books. Cause I can't hop from like the, you all grew up and leave me to call me by your name to Crooked Kingdom. Like they all have so much substance and they require so much thought. I need like a, a palette cleanser in between, but with romances, I'm even worse. Like I cannot pick a romance now that I'm gonna read in three weeks. Like I just cannot. Sorry, I can't, can't really give you a good TBR for that one because I could tell you a bunch of crap right now and it's just not happening. Just not gonna happen. Like I just won't read them. So I don't wanna lie. So that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, let's move on to the last trip I'm going on. It's also gonna be a nature trip. I'm going with one of my friends. <laughs> Yeah, it's in nature. So the first thing that I actually really want to read, that I've wanted to read as well for ages, that I think will be perfect for this is Upstream by Mary Oliver, which is a collection of essays that are all set around like nature and stuff. I really do wish I could have a physical copy of this. I think it would be really nice to annotate properly. I just don't have the packing space to bring physical books with me. Like it's just not smart. Like selected essays, so I can just read one essay at a time, just like sitting whenever we sit down, just like read a quick essay. So yeah, I've heard lots of great things about about this as well and then the last book that I have on my TBR there's I've picked one romance that I just I just must read this while I'm on vacation like this romance is not like other romances because this romance is set in like not the exact place I'm going but it's like the exact same vibe of where I'm going and that is um, Happy Trail by Daisy Prescott it's about like a park ranger type man who lives in like the Smoky Mountains who doesn't appreciate people and like falls in love with the one girl and I'm not quite sure how they get there and I don't really really want to know. I don't want to Google it. I don't want to spoil it. I want to just go into it blind and see what happens. I just, I need to read one romance about nature while I'm in nature because your girl's delusional and I'm still under the impression that I'm gonna find my summer romance man. So yeah, I need to like fill that fantasy, that delusion with actual books because although I am delusional, I'm also realistic and I don't speak to people. I don't talk to anyone. I don't walk up to people. I don't say hi. So I don't know what I'm thinking that I'm gonna meet somebody who's gonna like fall in love with me in three days, but this book will fill that deluluness and I'll be happy. So yeah, that's the last book I wanna read. Other than that, I'll just be reading random romances like I said. That's the best I could do for a TBR for my summer vacation. I'm gonna download all of these books onto my Kindle. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to go on vacation and I hope I'm not actually in a book slump because um, I said this in a book vlog that I'm filming right now. I've recently, every time I read a book, I just don't like it. Like every book I read, I'm like, that was meh. That was mediocre, that was blah. And I don't know if it's a phase or I don't know if the books I've been reading have just been having bad luck, but I feel like I'm entering my book slump era and I just don't want that. I don't want that at all. No, I really hope that's not happening. So I hope some of these books are really good and like pull me out of that. Let's see how it goes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope maybe you give, gave me some inspiration for your summer vacation. If you have any ideas of books that you think will fit the vibe that I've mentioned perfectly, comment them down below and then maybe I'll add them to the TBR for the summer. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, then like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Enjoy your summer vacation and hopefully we can all read some good books this summer because we deserve it.